Okay, I feel like I was doing Minecraft because I have to do an update. I'm not gonna end my stream to do the download. Um, we'll just do this. Auto. What are you at? Three minutes. Is he a different hair there? No, that's just the end, yes. Uh, I'm okay. <clears throat> I muted it in time. Sorry, I'm just not ready to start. I shouldn't have done a slash marker. Um, speed is max, speed is max, okay. is extremely painful and men can't handle the pain. One day, the genius scientist created a device that could share the pain of giving birth with the father. His first test subject was his wife. His wife was about to give birth, so he decided to try out the device. But for some reason, he felt no pain. Something wrong with the equipment? He upped the power to 10%, then 20%, until he reached 100%, right when she gave birth. And right after that, his assistant right next to him dropped dead from pain. Tama, 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 hot tamale! Well, what's the result? 143. Too bad. No grand champion for you. Aw, uh, why? That wasn't funny at all. I think you're more suited for an assistant director position. Hey, assistant directors are the directors of the future. Don't underestimate me. Andy's Komeji, on the street. Shut up. Let's go, the real comedian. Now. Oh, Komeji? Let's go. Today will be one Why'd you go around like that? That's truly memorable to me. There just aren't rooftop amusement parks like this anymore, you know? A walk-around comedy show with Andy's Komeji. I didn't know he was on one of those. He isn't. This is just his dream. Dream in both senses of the word. It's his dream to have a show like this. Hmm. It's kind of pathetic. Tama, what are you holding in your hand? Hmm, what is this? A sketchbook? Well, anyway, we will, uh... Komeji's stumbling over his words. A sketchbook is a cue card. Tama, you're an assistant director now. You should send him a message using the cue card. This calls for... Say something funny. You gotta break through to him. <sighs> I never intended on being an assistant director. That's fine. Say something funny? What do you mean? We're in a bubble. What does that mean? That's... What's going on? Ryuki, we need to do our thing. Right. Do it, Tama. Somnium scan, activate! Excuse you. 
Should have a split. Find what Andy's code Meji is hiding. In this world, and you waited with you know, Haru's ideals. Find out the truth and get the information on what he is hiding. Let's start there. If we're gonna talk about Andy's Komeji, we can't miss that place. Let's follow him. Okay then. It's my show, so how about I go to the next filming location so the staff knows where it is? And the crew chases me. Should I fish? River. Freshwater fish is a lean and tasty. He's got a good amount of fans. Oh, well, hello, hello! Komeji is back on stage! So, for the first time in a while, I want to show you a skit. Assistant Director Tama, show the cue card again. Got it. Don't you all want to hear a certain something? God of energy, inti, inti, hachaka max! <laughs> hey lady, you're gonna get tired standing there. There's an open seat right in the front row. Not only can you take a load off, you can watch my super funny skit. Oh, um, okay. <sighs> I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. When we saw him in person, there weren't too many people watching him. But why not? He's funny. Okay, but in any case, never really had a big audience. So something can trigger a flashback. The trigger is... Now that I've shared my roots, let's head over there. Komeji's on the move. Get after him. There's not a split. Okay. I want to become a blind comedian who doesn't refuse blank and blank. A small Ferris wheel for a rooftop amusement park. I wonder if this Ferris wheel is the main attraction. I feel like it's maintained better than the other attractions. Maybe it just looks like that because Komeji thinks fondly of it. Which means there must be something here. And that's what I thought too, but there's nothing so far. It's an older shooting game. So no zombies? It's like a clay target shooting simulator. I wonder if Komeji is good at this. Hmm, I can't picture him being coordinated enough for it. I bet he's just watching other people do it. Yeah, that's a good point. Anyway, there's nothing we can do here. I was such like, what did I do? I've already worked for five minutes. It's time for a break. Oh, too early for a break. Meiji's older, so he gets tired quick. He's just joking. You shouldn't take him seriously. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with the marker in your hand? Let's show him a cue card. You look like you want an autograph. All right, all right. So, where do you want me to sign this? The co-signee section? Yes, yes. No worries. Anything for a friend. But I do have a family to think about, so you better not ditch me. I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> there is a split. What does Komeji want the most? What does Komeji want to protect? Komeji became a co-signee and took on someone's debt. What an idiot. Of course they take off on him. But hey, now we know how to trigger these flashbacks. Yeah, the cue has to link to the memory of his past. Alright, let's keep going. He's on the move again. I want to become a blind comedian who doesn't refuse autographs and blanks to, with the fans in the fun way. They 
actually sell balloons here. When's the last time you paid for a balloon? That's a good point. Don't agree with him. Give him a cue. All right, let's buy one. You can't get enough of these. Wait, this is coming out of my own wallet? It, it's not coming out of the show budget? What, is the budget that tight? Oh, well, I'll buy it with my own money. Ah, a run-of-the-mill balloon. Very normal. The kind you take home, and the next morning it's shriveled up and on the ground. And after thinking about what to do, you put it on some old hag's head. What am I talking about? <laughs> I guess he wants us to make him do something funnier. More TV-friendly. TV-friendly, huh? I want to become an open-hearted comedian who doesn't refuse autographs and interact with fans in the fun way. Shut up. What's a good cue here? Excuse me, I want enough balloons to fly. How many would I need? What? I can't fly? Wow! Well, duh! What's with that cue? Yeah, director, you dropped the ball on that one. Excuse me, assistant director. You can't fly. You need to think more logically. It's fine. This is a Somnium. You're the one who's always telling me to think outside the box. It's TV friendly. What's a good cue? Anyway, they're gonna let me make a balloon today. So, can I give it a shot? Interest? My dad isn't getting any smaller. What is a blacklist? I, I can't borrow any more money? Where can I get more money? You'll let me borrow money? Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. The debt got bigger and bigger, and he couldn't borrow any more money from regular lending companies. That's why he started borrowing from shady people. Hey! Who is that over there? Who could it be? Uh, do we have a guest today? Tama, the person standing there is... Is this the same scene we saw at the beginning of the Somnium? We couldn't hear then, but I wonder if we can hear this time. Yeah. Hello, what is it? Uh, do you need something from me? Hello, this is Chow Chow Finance. Mr. Komeiji, oh, you're late on your payments. Oh, yes, I'll pay you back no matter what, so please, uh... Are you sure? I've heard that from you enough times already. At this point, I guess we have no choice. Maybe we'll have to get your family involved. Oh, what does that mean? Mr. Komeiji, if you can't pay back what you owe, this is what happens. Do you understand? In any case, Yonoharu Inda, good luck. Shoma, Shoma, what, what should I do now? What? It's an opportunity for a cue. Okay, I just need to get some money ready, and those Yakuza guys I met at one of my shows, they said they had a good paying job for me. I guess I'll just have to take a chance on that. I'm prepared the money. Let's log two done. Manage to matter to prepare the money. Well, this committee's a secret job. I need to help. What I need to help Shoma is blank, blank, blank. Even if I have the blank, whatever happens to me, blank.
It's a shooting game. I can't picture Komeji playing this. Say something funny? That's kind of vague, huh? Let's see! Oda Army! Rifle Squad, second row! <laughs> ah, he's making a reference to Oda Nobunaga's army. Maybe a soldier waiting to swap into the second firing line in the Battle of Nagashino? You don't need to analyze his joke. Do you understand how hard it is to say something funny when someone asks you to say something funny? Oh, I'm so sad now. I'm losing energy. What should I do when I'm losing energy like this? God of energy, Inti Inti, a Chaka Max! There it is! <laughs> You're the only person in the world who finds that funny. This has nothing to do with shooting anymore! <laughs> hey, Ryuki, can you think of a better cue? I figured he would be bad really at shooting, one. which is why I went with it, but... He is a comedian, you know. I expected him to be able to improv better. You're a terrible director. I you have three minutes left for the law. Focus. Shooting. Don't talk to me. I don't even play games. Well, I guess it's like a shooting game at a carnival. Here I go. Oh, I'm not a target? <laughs> He won't play. Maybe he won't do it himself. Well, in that case... Nobstroma is money. A shooting. Sure, I'll remove the seconds. Whatever. What? You want me to play this? Oh, I I'm not good at this. Hey there, you look like a shooter. Why don't you give it a shot? This is the goods. I'm gonna take the pay. Don't worry, it's untraceable. Thank you. Caught up in the black market. Oh no. Andy's Komeji was selling firearms? Komeji is gone. What? He's over there. Money, money, money. You would either break the law. Whatever happens to me, blank. So be it. Komeji is trying to get on an airplane. His expression is so... dead. Tama, get in position to show Komeji a cue card. Everyone, Andy's Komeji is in your town. Hey, look, I'll come back over and over again. So true, he's coming back over and over again. Why are you so excited about this? Hey, everyone, Andy's Komeji is talking. Give me some kind of reaction. Ah, crap. That's enough. I'm getting off. Komeji got off. Yeah, he got off. I wanted him to go around a little more. Ryuki, tell me the cue. You want me to get off head first? What kind of joke is that? Is that funny? Like Daedalus and Nocrates' son, I don't got no wax wings. I'll tell you, that wound would be pretty nasty. You might even say, Icarus. <laughs> <sighs> I need to be money. What? Another? Uh, what do you want me to say? If you quit now, your debt's only gonna get bigger. Why? I gave you all your money. You're nowhere close. Going round and round again, Komeji. You're stuck doing laps for us just like this playground. 
Kameji had a hard time getting away from these shady characters. I'm guessing he could only pay off the interest. Crap! I forgot my bow tie! Hey, where is he going? What is this? I know. If I have this, this is my ticket out of here. This is victory. This is my gold medal. What did Komeji find? I'm going after him. Ryuki, less than 30 seconds left. Whoa, hold up. I'm trying to have fun here, man. What? Is this? We can't put that on TV. I don't think it's getting on TV anyway. Uh, the censors will come for me. I'm going to get blacklisted from the industry. Hmm? For you? No, we can't stop now. Come in. God forbid I want to mess around. Okay, I'll take. Over there. Komage's expression is. Another run button. You have a minute left. <sighs> Thank you, boys. What is this? It won't matter. If I take this with me, they'll have to pay me. There's no way they want this getting found. And it'll fit perfectly in my suitcase. Uh. <laughs> it's just sitting there practically begging me to take it. If I take this, I can escape this life. This is my chance to finally get ahead. I can't go back now. Meiji took something home in his suitcase. I'm guessing he was going to blackmail someone. But what could it be? Well... Miles for Tears. Ricky Chapter 3, R1. Mr. Komeji, I've taken a look inside your mind. You've been involved in gun trafficking, haven't you? There are other things I'd like to ask you about. May I have a minute of your time? I'm muted. There's a recording camera. Table. I must eject it a stark contrast from how it was in the Varandia suit. What's going to have for trafficking? What you find on the rooftop? What's the connection between the gun trafficking and your debt? What are you doing at Auditory Institute? 
Mr. Komeji, you're treading dangerous waters here. At this rate, Shoma could also be put in danger. Please, talk to me. For Shoma's sake. Shoma, can you protect him? You want me to protect Shoma? As soon as I know he's safe, I'll tell you everything. Ryuki, I have Shoma safely under custody. I'll put him on the line. Shoma, are you okay? No! Cops came and put me in the car, and now they're driving me to the station. I see. What did you do, Dad? The police are after you now? I knew you were dumb, but not that dumb. <sighs> I'm sorry. Shoma, I'll have to fill you in later. I need to talk to your dad for now. Uh, okay. But... All right, Ryuki. I'll leave the rest to you. Now, please continue, Komeji. Or do you prefer Mr. Enda? You have to wait. What should I call UFO? How should I call on a UFO? Nile. Get invited to a group Nile chatty. Lucky. Yes, I, I've racked up a huge amount of debt. I've been getting hounded by collectors. Eventually, they started threatening me with this. Listen, Andy's Gomeji. Your dear little boy is in elementary school, isn't he? If you don't pay the money you owe in one month, we're taking him and selling him overseas. Am I clear? I couldn't talk to the police about what you said earlier. Gangsters selling guns, and I was an accomplice. It was all for money, but... I've always wanted to cut ties with that lot. But I couldn't do it. I had no other way to pay back the money I owed. The money I make as a comedian is just a drop in the bucket. Why'd you have that gun? I was involved with gangs and their gun trafficking operations. That's where I stole the gun I had. I was knee-deep in some dangerous business, and... I thought I needed a way to protect myself. What were you doing at Horror Dory Institute? The thing on the rooftop of Misaton. You know about it, don't you? Yes. You walked away with it in your suitcase. It was so you could blackmail someone. That's right. Is this related to Horror Dory Institute somehow? Mr. Ryuki, uh, please take a look at this. I'm the Horridor Institute of Genetics. If you give it back, you'll be rewarded. A message. Look at the sender. Yeah. A message from Terror. Komeji, what's going on here? Why do you have a Nile message from a serial killer? That thing I found belonged to Terror. That's what he was talking about in the message. Are you saying you tried to blackmail Terror? I guess so. Anyway. That's why I went to Horidori Institute. The entrance was already open by the time I got there. But there was no one inside, as you know. I had no choice but to wait there. And then you showed up. What is the it in the Nile message? Do you still intend to hide things from me? Mr. Komeji, I'll ask you one more time. What is this thing that's so important to Terror? Fine. I'll ask a different question. Where is it now? Will you bring me with you? If you do, I'll tell you.
Bro, he ain't gonna survive. Mr. Komeji, isn't this... Yes, it's my home. This makes so much sense that it's actually confusing. Yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic. So, where can I find it? Ah, oh, right. Uh, <laughs> where was it? I must be getting old. I'm having trouble remembering. Mr. Komeji, please. You can't tell me that after bringing me all the way here. I know, but uh, what am I supposed to do if I can't remember? We have no choice, Ryuki. Let's just start looking around. Is the Adora Rabbit thing? That's irrelevant. Where could it be? The room first. There are only futons inside. I doubt Terror had an interest in this. Shamas Rabba, this is what I'm looking for. Nothing here, huh? There's something like seaweed on the ground, though. I don't think that's relevant right now. Tatsu. 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 Oh, no, I keep looking at it. <clears throat> this is relevant. Is this toolbox? I don't think so. Hmm. Just the drawers. That's right. Nothing really stands out. After we checked the room from end to end, we didn't find anything that might be what we're looking for. Mr. Komeji, are you really sure it's here? Yes, it should be. How strange. Where could it have gone? Ryuki, look at this. I thought so. What is he thinking? I've had enough of this. If you're going to keep lying to me... Huh? Why are you all here? Ryuki, you left Shoma at Abyss HQ, didn't you? How awful of you to leave him all by himself! Miss Iris, Miss Mame, and I were having dinner at Yurakucho. Then I got a Nile message from Shoma. That's when we found out about the questioning. We also found out Shoma was in police custody. This is bad. Where should be remained? It's a super mega big deal! That's what we all were thinking, so we headed over. But he was done being questioned by the time we arrived. That is why we decided to bring him here. They all know Shoma? Seems so. Shoma and Mizuki go to the same elementary school, so that's probably how they are all connected. Give it up already, Dad! I already hated you for being unfunny, pathetic, and unpopular, and now you're a criminal too? Did the police tell you that? Yeah, they told me everything. But... It was all for you. Stop making excuses. You did all that bad stuff, and you're still trying to fight back, lie, and trick your way out of it. I'm sick of it. Shoma. Dad. Dad. You should just die already. <gasps> how did you get? How did you remove him from custody? What is it? Big mistake. I'll give you one more chance. Come to divide you alone. Divide you alone. This could be an opportunity, Ryuki. If we go to Divida, maybe we can catch terror. Mr. Komeji, we'll put our search aside for now. I'm going to Divida alone. I can't bring you along on a hunt for a dangerous criminal. No, you can't. Terror will run if you show up. I need to get his guard down first. You should hide somewhere. And once he shows up, you appear. Are you sure? Yes. I'll be the bait. This is the least I can do after what I've done.
Imagine he went into the studio alone, but before he did, he started the video call on his smartphone, hit out of sight, watching the video, and waiting for something to happen. No matter how long I waited, then my terror would show up. I actually ran out of patience and walked into the studio. Ryuki, are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? Uh, Why did his eye color change? What... What happened? Oh good, you're okay. I don't think I'm injured. Why are you here? We will explain later. First, can you tell us what happened here? I don't know. I started seeing things. Then I lost consciousness. Tama was offline, okay. I managed to come back. Tama. After you lost consciousness, you were attacked from behind. A high voltage current was delivered to your back, and I was short circuited. I wasn't able to use any of my functions. But, as you can see, I was able to bring myself back online thanks to my self repair program. Did Terror do this? I don't know. I didn't see the attacker. I don't know anything after you lost control of your bladder. You mean lost consciousness? Yeah, whatever. So. Where is Komeiji? I don't see him here. Meiji, why? How do I always end up doing the Scooby-Doo route first, man? Shoma, are you cool there, Shoma? What can you even say in a situation like this? How could this have happened? Are you okay? Of course he's not okay. Komeji was his father. Did you see anyone? I can't link sync now. Not enough battery. The right has the corpse. body. I think it's safe to say terror is the culprit. Ryuki, let's talk to everyone before checking the body. Okay, I'll do that. Iris, why did you bring the child here? I heard that something was up with you guys at Shoma's house earlier. I heard you were talking about terror and going to Divida, so I got worried and came over. Oh, How did you get them out of police custody? Right away. We first discussed whether we should track you down. I think it was about two and a half hours after you left that we decided. We thought we should just come straight here and... It's 11.30 p.m. now, by the way. No. Did you see anyone? I didn't see anyone until we got inside the studio. I guess so. Are you okay? Not your first corpse. Let's look at your face. That is a <laughs> bit of exaggeration. Me? We simply untied the rope that bound you. Rope? Must be that one over there. I was tied up with that? Yeah, 
Your hands and feet were tied really tight. When we arrived, we found you on the ground in that state. So, Kizzy and I untied the rope. By anyone, see anyone? do you mean the culprit? Well, anyone at all. Like, any suspicious figures, maybe? No, we did not see a single soul. I see. Um, Why did you well, say it's so weird? you are the taxi driver here you are the receipt for your card payment oh thank you excuse me but who are you hmm what oh I am but a humble taxi driver I forgot to hand you the receipt earlier so you drove these four here indeed that is correct. I was always quite bad with machines, you see. I let others handle the TV, the music, and other such things. Oh, one time I wanted to listen to a CD, but I didn't know how to open the CD player, so I smashed it with my fist. Okay. Why are you telling me this? That is just how terrible with machines I am. That is why I could not handle the card payment as smoothly as I would have liked. And while I was fumbling my way through the payment, they ran out. So it was. Mommy did? So she got out of the car first. Naturally, I was quite flustered by this rowdy display. And so I continued to fumble for three, four, no, perhaps even five minutes or so. I somehow managed to process the payment. But I was still quite bothered. I returned the credit card, but in my haste, I completely forgot to hand over the receipt. What were the other three in the back seat doing during all that? They were waiting the entire time. The card was Kizzy's. But she what do you say they? You was also one of you. So Shoma and I didn't get out. Well, now that that's settled, I will be off. Um, if you'll excuse me. Yes, Kizzy, Shoma, and I went into the studio together. Mame was already inside. What is it, Ryuki? Does something bother you about that? No, it's nothing. Mame, if you would. Shaking, holding her face in her hands. I already saw Kajemi's corpse. Sorry, the wrong button. Uh, what? Must be a shock. Not to the top. Are you okay? She seems very shook up. We should let her be for now. Did you see anyone? See. No. No one saw anything. Tama. Have you contacted Abyss and HQ? Way ahead of you. The investigation team should arrive soon. I've also arranged for a counselor. All four of them are in a really bad mental state. Uh... Sh Shoma? Are you okay? There, Ryuki. Go after him. Right. By the time I ran out of the studio, so Shoma was already gone. The three months inside decided to split up because they scattered in different directions. I thought it would be better to search a water area and I got in my car, but... 
I don't see him anywhere. No response on his phone, and his GPS is off. Where did you go, Shoma? We have to find him after he stormed out like that. Who knows what he'll do in the state. <sighs> Calm down, Ryuki. Think about where Shoma might go. Where he might go? I got it. Shoma must be there. Don't go, darling. Don't go, darling. It's a town department store. Two fourteen, well known. Ryuki chapter four R one. I think it's almost slash marker. Anyway, this is all a load of bull. Today is Valentine's Day. What? It's past midnight, so it's February fourteenth now. Oh. But I don't really care about that right now. How can you not care? More importantly, Shoma was on the number two car, right? Why do you ask? Because... Yes, he definitely went in number two. I thought so. If that's the case, he should be back soon. What? No. How? Ellipses. How? We checked every one of the cars, but I don't see Shoma anywhere. We are living in a false world created by a program. Therefore, if we can rewrite its code, we can create miracles. It can't be. Impossible. It can't be. It can't be. I know Shoma went on that car. I saw it with my own eyes. And yet... Uh, hold on! Uh, don't tell me it's happening again! Come here, Shrine. A couple of hours later. Tama, do you know about this place? I heard about it from Mr. Date. This shrine worships a fruit called the Fruit of Immortality. If you eat it, you will gain eternal youth and life. Hey, Ryuki, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not well. Mentally, I mean. You haven't been for a long time now, and I think it's getting worse. You should really see somebody. I'm fine. Coming to the shrine has calmed me down. Coming here doesn't solve anything! Praying to a god or Buddha isn't going to heal your heart! 
Please, Ryuki. Okay, then. You want me to go to the hospital? Before I do, let me ask for one thing. Can you replay the scene from Studio Devita right now? Ryuki. I want to solve the HP case, no matter what. No, I have to solve it for Komeiji. Especially now that he's... Sheesh, you literally... Sheesh! Fine, I'll do it. But promise me that after the investigation, you'll... Yes, I'll go get checked out. Promise, okay? Yeah, I promise. Now, close your eyes. Let's do this. Sheesh! I'm gonna do a slash marker and I'll be right back. And then we'll do one more part worth. And then we'll do the Overwatch tomorrow. Because I'm dying to play some Overwatch. So, what did you want to investigate here? Let me see Miss Hama. You see that camera on the tripod that's tipped over? When I do not see yeah. It wasn't like that. Why did it fall over? Could it have been terror? But why? I don't understand why, but it could only have been him. No, that's not true. There's another person that could have tipped it over. When we regained consciousness, there were four people here. Iris, Kizuna, Mame, and Shoma. The first one to go into the studio was... A Mame. That's what Iris and Kizuna said. Are you suggesting a Mame tipped over the camera? It's entirely possible. Use the bathroom. But why would she May do please that? Save. That's what I'm going to figure out. And then I'll do this question. What ocean current do you like? Equatorial. Title of an Anka Songi. It's a song about a sailor and a harbor womany. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> 